Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out the demo for Rise Eterna. This looks like a Fire Emblem inspired little indie game that I've had on my uh, wish list for quite a while. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I do love Beast of Fire Emblem. Oh boy. Yawn, it's, it's early in the morning. Oi, we're headed off to the village. You're coming or not? Nah, you guys go ahead. I'll hold down the fort. I don't get you, mate. You got the nicest sword to anyone in the camp, and you don't take it out and use it. Shame. Well, some people don't like murder, man. Trust me, mate. You keep talking, and I'll take it out and use it. And you won't like it. Is that a threat? Big talk for a man who's too scared to get his pretty little blade dirty. Break it up, boys. We got work to do. Nathiel, you know the drill. Yeah, yeah. If anyone finds our camp, don't talk. Just kill him. That's the spirit. All right, boys, let's head out. Remember, grab everything that hasn't bolted down, especially food. We're gonna go do a murder? That doesn't sound good. Hmm. That was very Fire Emblem, them, like, moving around on the world map like that. Dusk, and they're still not back. Damn, something must have happened. Better go see what's up. Why are you hanging out with bandits, my dude? Good lord. What is this mess? Huh? One more word and you're a dead man. Are you with them? Who the hell are you, kid? I'm the one asking questions here. I said, are you with them? Uh, I suppose technically I am? Then you will die like them. Ugh. Okay, stop it. I don't fight kids. Especially not injured ones. Are you okay? Shut up, I'll... I'll kill... Hey, kid. Kid! Where am I? Back from the dead, huh? What... what did you do to me? I bandaged your arm and carried you out of the village. You're pretty badly injured. It hurts. Hey, don't move. You lost a lot of blood. You're still weak. Get some rest for now. When you wake up, you're gonna have some explaining to do. I mean, bandits attacked her village and she murdered them. I don't see what, what there is to explain besides how much of a badass she is. Ugh, my head. How do you feel? Good enough to kill you if I feel the need to. Alright, kid, spill it. What happened yesterday? I'm not a kid. Look like one to me. Don't dodge the question. What happened in the village? I killed them. Killed them? Killed who? Your friends. They attacked the village, those bastards. I killed them one after another with my own blade. Your blade? You killed them? <laughs> okay, that's funny, but seriously now. Do I look like I'm joking? Kid, we're talking about a group of trained men. Clearly not trained enough. Okay, what the hell is going on? Who the hell are you? It's none of your business. Okay, fair enough, Lua. How do you know my name? Your medallion. I perceive it is your name. I presume it is your name engraved on it. How dare you? Did you put your filthy hands on me while I was unconscious? Uh, yeah. Kind of difficult bandaging someone without using hands. My name is Nathiel, by the way. Not like you care anyway. I was a part of this bunch, but well, not anymore. You really don't look like you were a part of this bunch. You have like crazy good-looking armor, and they were talking about how you have a magnificent sword. Maybe you used to be a knight, and then you, like, kind of turned in with bandits and mercenaries. All your companions are dead, and you don't exactly look broken up about it. I wasn't exactly fond of them. I was just in it for the pay. You were, you were raiding villages like mine for the pay? What? No, I just got to the camp and stuff. Didn't want any part in the raids. Huh. So yeah, I'm not going to be weeping over a bunch of assholes biting off more than they can chew. Would have thought you'd be doing more weeping about your townsfolk, though. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, okay then. So, what are you gonna do now? Apart from killing you, I'm guessing that's supposed to say? Oh, great. What a nice kid. Unless you give me a very good reason not to do it. How about the fact that I saved your life for starting? Yeah, I suppose that will do for now. Okay, so now that killing me is off the table, let's try again. What's your plan? 
Look, kid, I got you in this whole... I get you've got this whole super secretive thing going on, but we can't stay here indefinitely. I have... I have to go to the capital. Capital? It's a long way from here. Why do you even want to go there? The villagers, they always told me if you're in danger, go to... Gaiacus and meet Sivan. I don't know who that is, but I... Huh. Sounds like the vaguest, least helpful emergency plan I've ever heard of. Yeah. Well, damn it, may as well go with you. Not as if this bandit gig going anywhere. Why do you want to come with me? Some unfulfilled paternal instinct? Yeah, sure. Let's get going and don't stay too far from me, kid. Shut up, you idiot. Wait here, I have to get to the, back to the village to pick up something first. Typical teenager trying to get on the road and it's all, Wait, I forgot something, hang on. You're gonna be real, Nathiel. You're kind of an asshole. <laughs> what the? Where did you find that? Like, like, not, not a like. Oh my God, he's a giant asshole. Although he is turned in with, uh, he, he's just a dick. Let's say that. It's my armor. The villagers told me to take it if something happened, and I'm pretty sure this count says something. Well, yeah, but that's not the point. That armor you've got, that ain't common run-of-the-mill equipment. Never mind that. Which way are we going? Wait, you want to go to the capital and you don't even know where it is? What? No, I'm just testing you to see if you'll be useful or not. Looks like the little kid is lost. Ugh, shut up, will you? Just tell me the directions and let's get going. Alright, kid, this area, Voluntim, is to the north of the Kingdom of Ars Rare. The capital, Gaiacus, is in the central. It'll be a five or six day journey at least. Of course, I've never had to walk at a kid's pace, so it might take longer. Wow, dude, you're not gonna give it a rest, are you? Shut up, old man. Oh, son. Try to hobble fast enough to keep up. Alright. You know, this trip is gonna be a lot of firsts for me. What do you mean? Leaving the Voluntum area, going to the capital, protecting a little kid. Gotta say, you bring a lot of novelty into my life, so... My deal is none of your concern, and you are not protecting me. Listen, old man, let's get something straight. I tolerate you for now, but I can change my mind any time. So if you want to... So... Now you've got all that off your chest, anything you want to tell me about yourself? I have nothing to say to you, let's go. Oh cool, she's like a... dual wielder. So you're like a rogue, probably? I thought you were gonna be a Myrmidon, basically. Chapter 1, Mission 1. Damn, looks like some of your friends are still alive. I completely forgot about the second group, we split up early. <laughs> what an asshole. Nathiel, what are you doing here? Who's this girl? Where are the others? Yeah, uh, long story short, I quit. Bye. Nathiel, you traitor! Oh, don't be so dramatic. This whole thing we had going was never gonna work out anyway. Rah, get them. Something tells me you two are not gonna last very long. Okay, we got Lua, we got Nathiel. Nathiel obviously has more health. Makes sense. Uh, I wish I could look at your stats. Besides just your health. Uh, oop. Use item, swap item, wait. Okay. What's that? Why are there, like, bubbles coming up over there? Are those, like, items or something? Oh, well. Let's get... Okay, what, what's your movement range? So you guys can basically reach me now. Uh, let's move you back here so they can't reach you. And wait, and the feel you can just stay right there. I don't just want to run into them because they got a lot of people. Alright, cool. So now let's see how much damage you do. Nathiel, so you got like a like a great sword. That's pretty cool. Boom! Yeah! That's very uh Okay, it told me my I think that I think that told me my hit chance there. As well as um my attack power, or the damage I was gonna do. Okay, they're not- they're not stupid enough to just run at me. Unfortunately. Okay, um... Maybe if I move forward a little bit more. You guys gonna come at me? Yeah, now you're coming. Oh god. Okay, 46 damage, 25% chance to crit. Ah. Oh wow, so we don't- we don't get an attack, too. In Fire Emblem, when you attack a character, usually you both get an attack in for when- when- like, when you get into combat. The person who- who initiates the attack just gets to attack first. 
But it doesn't look like this works on that same system. At least I'm pretty sure that's how Fire Emblem works. I haven't played a Fire Emblem game in a pretty long time, to be fair, but I used to play Fire Emblem all the time. Whoa, did you just do three attacks? Crazy. But I think it all added up to 46 anyway, so... Alright, you're gonna get right here to cover for Lua. But yeah, I haven't played a Fire Emblem in a very long time. I never got to play Three Houses. I think the last one I played was Awakening. Um... Yeah, I think the last one I played was Awakening. I never got to play any of the other ones, although I'd like to at some point. Okay, so da hit, damage, and crit are stats. Unfortunately, I couldn't see that just uh, looking at our characters, but it seems like, yeah, you're the... Um, possibly, like, the prince uh, character type, because they always had high crit chance, like Marth and uh, Erica and Ephraim from Sacred Stones and stuff. They always had high crit chance, but Myrmidons always had the most. So what's the deal with this? Okay, I don't I don't see anything. It's just it's just blue bubbles for the sake of blue bubbles, I guess. Alright, you coming at me? Alright, you're a bandit with dual wielding hatchets. I, I always like the dual wielding hatchets archetype. Or axes. It's it's just cool, man. It's just cool. Everybody's always about dual wielding like daggers and stuff and swords, but what about hatchets, man? They're cool too. Or even better yet, like a hatchet and a dagger or sword. I just like it. Alright. We're in here. Just wait. You move forward a little bit and wait. I kind of have you leading the charge here as our tank, but... It's not like you have more defense, you really just... Or at least I don't think you have more defense, you really just have more health. For the most part. Alright, let's let you finish this guy off. Oh wow, we both get an attack. Okay. Oh, so we're... So you can't have, like, combo attacks. Cool, 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 cool. I didn't know if that was a thing or not, but yeah. That's neat. Okay, um, you can't quite finish that enemy off. Move forward one more. It looks like they don't actually move forward unless we're, like, 100% in range. I notice they have some archers over there. I do not like the look of that. Well, you guys really don't aggro unless you can hit me, huh? Like, you just refuse to aggro unless you're 100% gonna hit me. Oh, hey. I didn't realize you could reach. Hello. Goodbye. There we go. Cool. Well, you guys are, uh, incredibly weak. How do you make it, being bandits, if you're this weak? Because <laughs> you guys are kind of getting the shit knocked out of you right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, alright, can, can I do these blue bubbles because they're not on, like, a mountain? Like, what's the deal with these? I notice we heal some HP each round, too. Which is interesting. You do not regenerate in Fire Emblem. Nothing? I'm standing on the blue bubbles. I thought maybe they'd be something, like an item or an event. But that does not seem to be the case. I'm not sure what the importance of them is, then. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Uh, let's move you up a little bit. I kind of just want to draw these archers out. I I do notice you, um, Lua, apparently have more movement speed. Which is very useful. So, he probably does have more defense, if I had to guess, then. I mean, why else would he be slower if he didn't have something to make up for it? Alright, let's get in here and murder this archer. Hello. Goodbye. You get like three attacks. That's pretty cool. Okay, those archers had pretty monstrous range, I believe. That guy looked like he had a lot of range. Ooh, miss. You choked, friend. Why didn't this archer attack? Hey, nerd. Why didn't you attack? Are you scared? Ah, oh, come on! The feel! What the hell's wrong with you? 
How are you gonna miss? Big crits. Yeah, I mean, we have a 48% chance to crit. And that must just be based off of, um, Lua's class. Not particularly the weapon. Huh. Interesting. So, is the archer gonna get to attack too? No, they're just in combat. Okay. I thought they'd get an attack off as well. Okay, let's have... Let's have you handle this guy. Because you had a hard time hitting the archer. Okay, well never mind, you're gonna have a hard time hitting that person too. Why are you just missing all of a sudden, huh? Surprised the archer doesn't like, try to run away or something. They're just kind of standing there shooting us with their bow. And that's kind of it. Ow. Can you not? Alright, I'm gonna move you up. Because you're slower. And we're gonna attack you. Could use a health potion, I don't really feel I need to yet though. Bang. Alright. We got four dudes left. So, I noticed a treasure chest up there. It might be locked. If it is locked, I'm hoping that you're like a rogue Lua. So you can open it, or a thief, whatever they want to call it in this game. Oh wow, you could actually reach. Haha. -ha. You know, you guys aren't the only ones that can dodge. So, yeah. I, I haven't been actually paying attention to my hit on the times when I missed. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me my chance to hit, like, before I actually attack them. So I just kind of have to find out when I get in. But I imagine, like, the archers and, uh, maybe the dudes wielding hatchets are probably just faster. So they have a higher chance to dodge. This certainly feels very Fire Emblem so far. Like I said, I've had this on my wish list for quite a while. And, uh, it just looked really cool. Like, the art and everything looked fantastic. I don't think it has, like, permadeath like Fire Emblem does. Of course, uh, the newer ones have sh moved away from that a little bit. Like, you can still play with permadeath, but there's also a mode you can play the game where there's just no permadeath. And that's a dead. Alright, I want whatever's in that treasure chest. And this person just refuses to attack me, so... Yoink! Uh, can I not open the treasure chest? I? Oh, open chest. I didn't have to stand on top of it. You found one axe. Alright, cool. Yeah, this person must be the boss then, if they just refuse to attack me. Lewis, yep. Alright. We're gonna hit for 34 points of damage. Never mind, we crit. Later, Lewis. Yeah, sorry, Nathiel. Uh, Lewis is way better than you. <laughs> Sakale, special hero unlocked. In this demo, you have access to two more maps to play. These maps are playable in grind mode without storytelling. Use the voucher code to redeem this special hero in the final version of the game as well. Huh. Uh, well, that's interesting. Continue. So... We have to do grind mode? The hero party's not full, do you wanna... Oh, okay, so we got... We got new characters we can add in. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. So now can we... Grind? Okay, cool. Chapter 1, Mission 2. Player phase. Alright, so I just want to see some of these other characters. See what they're about. So, Sarajed. You're a Lancer, which sounds awesome. I love me some Lancers. You're cool. Also got the Twin Tails going on. You look like you could be a mage. Uh, and obviously you're the Archer. So I just kind of, if that's all the story we're going to get, I'll probably be ending this off uh, soon. I just kind of want to see what these other characters are all about. So, 
yep, you get up there. Obviously, they're not going to have any special abilities or anything, I don't think. Although, you're quite strong. I like you. And I, I just like spear users and stuff anyway. They're just, they're just cool. And you don't really see them that often, I feel. Uh, okay, so how far away can you attack? Uh, not that far, apparently. Hi. Uh, attack? It says you have a 0% chance of doing 14 damage. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you are a mage. You are definitely a mage. Cool. In phase? Haha, you missed. Interesting that you unlock this character by putting in the voucher from playing the demo. That'd just be a character you'd miss out on the game otherwise, or maybe it's one of those cases where you get them later in the game, but because you have the voucher, you get them earlier. Like how pre-order bonuses usually work. Attack? A boom boom. Okay, well you hit with one. Alright, you seem terribly weak. Gotta say. You seem a little weak. You're gonna do 100% 25 damage- oh my god. Well, hello, death. Uh, yep, you got wrecked pretty hard. Hi. Boom. Alright, well, let's go ahead and quit now. So, I think we've seen most of what we're gonna see in the demo, but... This looks pretty promising so far. Obviously, the demo is, uh, not representative of the final product, but... From what I've seen so far, it looks pretty neat. Kinda reminds me of Grand Guilds, except, uh, more polished. And definitely, of course, reminds me of Fire Emblem, so, yeah. This is really neat, and uh, I'll be keeping an eye uh, on it for a release date, because I'm definitely interested in playing a Fire Emblem-style game. I do love me some strategy JRPGs. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.